Hey guys, I'm here to share with you a simple technique I discovered to help you smash trout in your lake. The video you're about to see is from the second week in January. The water temperature was about 42 degrees. This is just a small glimpse into the power of this technique. I think the best time if you're targeting these trout is early spring, late fall. That's when they seem to roam around the most. Um, look for them either in the upper water column or right off the bottom. By the way, this technique is not only for trout. This technique catches everything. I've caught giant walleye, stripers, of course, largemouth, smallmouth, giant perch, giant crappie. I'm telling you, this technique catches everything. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the rod, the lure, the line, and the retrieves. Um, if you're interested, at the end, I'm gonna include some bonus footage. So please guys, comment, let me know what you wanna see more of, and any other ideas you may have. My goal this year is to teach you what all species of fish look like and how to catch them on live scope. Enjoy. All right, guys, you see me reeling up and I'm gonna make a cast towards that school of fish on the bottom. You're gonna start to see my bait falling and glimmering. It's a little right of center there. There it is, you can see my bait falling, falling, and right about now a fish starts to move towards it. So there's the fish moving towards it, and there's my bait above it. What these trout love to do is they love to come up and they circle. They circle, they circle. And a lot of them need a quick movement, and then they react. So right here, I'm going to show you something. That little spot right there is my bait. I'm going to make a couple turns of the reel handle, and that trout is going to shoot up and grab that bait. That's the reaction he needed. He's got it. Going to slowly reel into him and I'm gonna fight them. With these trout, especially if you are going to release them, which I do most of the time, I fight them very slowly. I let them wear themselves out because if you pull them in too quickly, they will be a pain in the butt to handle and you will wind up hurting them so I'm looking for a smooth and safe release. So I'm only going to go over one clip. Then I'm going to show you the breakdown of the rod, line, lure, and going to talk about the retrieves. And then at the end, I'm going to go over a few more clips I will talk to you about them also. Hey guys, all right. Now we're gonna talk about the rod, the lure, the line, and the retrieves. This simple lure is a Z-Man Ned Rig with the 1 ounce size head. They have the heavy duty head, which I like, and the finesse head. If you're gonna use the finesse head, play the fish slowly because you will bend that hook out, okay? This exact head and this exact lure, usually in green pumpkin, by the way, is critical, okay? Because of the way it falls, and that's what's tricking the bites, all right? Uh, the line, is 10 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I tie an FG knot. This line and this lure combination is, is the magic, okay? The rod is, I'm using a 7-1 um, Daiwa drop shot rod, Tatula, okay? But you could use any medium, medium light rod, whatever your preference is. The reel I'm using is a Daiwa Ballistic 3000 series. Um, again, your preference. All right, retrieve number one, not even a retrieve, 
cast it out to the fish that you see on live scope and let it fall on slack line literally strip line out let there be a bow in your line and just let it fall on slack the magic of this bait is the spiral okay that's the magic of this bait as it's falling on slack line this fish is going to come up and just grab it okay retrieve number two same thing you see the fish cast out okay as this bait is falling he's looking at it maybe interested maybe not so interested you're going to reel it real fast and then stop on slack line okay comes up to it maybe he's interested maybe he's not interested reel it real fast again on slack line okay retrieve number three cast it out you see the fish maybe he follows it down follows it down maybe he's pretty close to the bottom snap 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 let it fall on slack line all right snap 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 let it fall on slack line sometimes when you're snap snap they can't even they just come unglued and come up and grab it okay retrieve number four this one is important all right because sometimes these fish want to eat off the bottom why i do not know but you have to test each day okay so you throw it out there let it spiral all the way to the bottom and let him follow it all the way to the bottom all right i've seen these fish follow a bait down to the bottom from 25 foot all the way down let it hit the bottom and see if he'll pick it up five ten whatever if he doesn't pick it up and you see him moving away snap 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 let it fall to the bottom again if he goes over and he's looking at it give it a little wiggle and see what happens all right one of these four retrieves will work okay now i'm going to leave some bonus footage at the end and i'm going to talk over it and you're going to see some of these retrieves all right so if you have to rewind look at what i'm doing and try to match the retrieves to what i said and you'll get used to it okay so guys please like subscribe comment let me know what you like let me know what you don't like let me know what you want to see uh, but i got a lot of good videos coming up all right so i hope you learned something see you soon bye all right guys fish entering the screen we're going to make a cast at this fish a lot of times uh if the fish notices your bait you're gonna see right here he starts moving upwards that's a good indication uh, there is the bait on the top and the fish on the bottom uh, i'm gonna crank the reel handle a couple times crank the reel handle or you can snap 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 uh, whichever one you want one more time crank it or snap and boop there he goes comes and slurps up my little ned rig I'm going to show one more fish catch uh, from cast to catch. Each catch is about, I want to say three minutes, somewhere in that range. When using light line, it's super important to just play the fish. I've caught so many large fish with six, eight pound test. Uh, so I figured I would leave in one more cast to catch, uh, me playing the fish, just so you can see how you play fish with light line. I don't care what kind of fish it is. Basically, use your drag, let the fish tire out, do not rush. Anytime you rush, that's when you're going to have problems. Get your net nice and ready. Especially these trout, they want to make a few runs. If you're fishing for smallmouth, forget about it. You can be here for another couple minutes. They don't ever give up when you're using light line. And as long as there's nothing for them to get into, wood, grass, whatever, there's no reason not to take your time. I've taught many of guys on my boat how to catch fish with light line, and this is it. Just take your time.
Trout enters frame. This one is super simple. You're going to make the cast. Let it fall on slack line. This Ned rig will be spiraling down. And he's just going to come slurp it up. When these fish are super aggressive, that's pretty much all it takes. Reel into them. All right, guys, you see the fish right there. You see my bait on the top. Fish is coming towards me. I reel it really quick, get his attention, put it in front of him the way he's actually moving. And here he comes. He cannot resist that fall. Circling, circling, and eventually, boom, he's got it. You see where the bait disappears and you only see the fish that's when you know he's got it all right guys there's a nice fish right there but you can notice as i move that live scope just a little bit it's a school of bait so there you go there's a couple larger marks there is a few larger marks around that bait ball. And I cast out, hoping one will see. There's a nice large mark right there. And what happens is as I'm waiting for my bait to fall in 30 foot of water, I move my live scope and there's my bait in the front and there's another fish suspended. So I figure, let me, uh, See if I can get his attention. Reel it up real quick. Reel it up, reel it up. Right over top of him or a little bit under him. And he's circling. He's interested. He gets a little spooked and that bait was just over the top, if you could see. And boom, he grabbed it. Guys, I, I hope you can see how effective this technique is. You can do this all day. You can have 30 fish days with no problem. Rainbow, lake trout, go give it a shot.